First of all, what time does that happen, and how can we, you know, preempt that by getting inside before it starts? Um, generally, you know, uh, Memorial Day was in the first was the first uh, weekend I really noticed large numbers of mosquitoes. Up until that point, we had very few of them. And then we had a pretty serious emergence uh, over Memorial Day, and then it con it's continued since then, and it probably will continue for another two to three weeks. Wow. At the minimum. What? Isn't that longer and, than normal? No, that's about, that's about normal. I mean, these are the spring mosquitoes that developed in, you know, the snowmelt pools and in low-lying areas that were filled by the spring rains and snow. And uh, unfortunately, I had a lot of reporters call me uh, early in the spring wanting to know, you know, what, we, what uh, impact the winter was going to, our severe winter was going to have on mosquitoes. And they were pretty hopeful, of course, that, you know, that the cold temperatures were going to wipe out the overwintering populations. And I was you know, I, I think I really disappointed them when I said I think it's going to benefit them just because we had so much snow, and then certainly it has. Um, mm. So um, they're going to be with us for a while, and right now they are voracious. So uh, around where I live, I mean, they're pretty much they're they're just awful pretty much all day long. And then once it, uh, it the wind starts to calm down, and certainly these warm, you know, humid nights are just banner excellent mosquito time so that as soon as the start the wind starts to die down uh in the evening uh, that'd be the time to head indoors and, and is there any way uh well so we, just to recap we're talking about three more weeks of it probably probably yeah and is there anything you can put on that you see in the store that will actually keep the things away or and what about those centronella candles and what what's or, or is it hopeless um i use repellents i use um deet um, that comes in a number of, uh, you know, a number of people sell deep. You know, I happen to use um, Deep Woods Off. It, it is pretty effective. Is it? Okay. And he's just Tony Cuthbert in the orchestra. There's also a bunch of things that I see that make noises. Are those just kind of noises? Non existent. They're kind of fake or whatever. Like there's, there's a track that you can play, like in a CD player, for yeah. two hours long and it's supposed to repel mosquitoes. Really? What about that? Have you heard about that, Doc? I, you know, I haven't, I haven't heard that. And I, Is it a Justin <laughs> Bieber album? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, my mosquitoes would just laugh at something like that. He's making a joke. It's a Justin Bieber album. He said that not only keeps the mosquitoes away, <laughs> it keeps everybody away. <laughs> yeah, a little funny yeah, one there on Monday. Cool. Very good. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, do you like the DEET and the Deep Woods Off, and it will be, you say it's very effective. I guess it depends on the person. What about after you're bitten? Uh, what, what advice there? I scratch the pejesus out do of you, them, Michael. <laughs> yeah, you're very unconventional. <laughs> it's hard like not to. everybody else. I, if I have an itch, I just go ahead and scratch that right up. Is there something you can should put on it, or maybe uh, is I another option? Could, I mean, there's all sorts of things. I, I guess uh, I don't bother. Really? With them, I guess calamine lotion works, uh, hmm. witch hazel, and maybe some of the, you know, the, the steroids might help. Uh, but, you know, I just go ahead and itch them. Uh, what about ticks? Now, I've seen a couple of these nasty little buggers. They are uh, resilient little things, and they move fast. Yep, they do. And we've seen a general increase of ticks throughout the Lower Peninsula over the last five to ten years. Uh and uh, not only just the dog ticks, which I think most people are familiar with, the ones with white spots on their back, but we've seen a general increase in spread of the deer tick. Uh, it's now common and prevalent along the west coast from Berrien County all the way up through Traverse City. And, and they look like um, little, little mean, menacing little spiders, don't they, sort of? Well, you know, they're, uh, you know, they certainly have eight legs. They can't fly, but they're, they wait along game trails and other places where, you know, brushy areas where animals walk. And then hmm. um, when we walk by and brush against the, the, the tick, they grab a hold, they climb up, and then they... You they wonder get... why they exist, you know, in the big scheme of things? Well, you know, why is, you know, like any organism, you know, their, their job is to produce more of their kind. I mean, that's, that's their reproductive success is the ultimate goal of any biological organism. Whether or not they have a purpose for us uh, is immaterial to them. You know, they're, they're another species, uh, and uh, their job is to create more of their own kind. Is there anything you can spray, like uh, what about those electric bug devices that zap them or those yard treatments that some people well, sell? You know, both, 
the you know the yard lights and all these sonic repellents probably don't work at all. Okay, good to know. Uh, don't waste any but, money there. But DEET is effective uh, against uh, ticks as a repellent too. Also, per, uh, permethrin, which you can buy as a tick repellent, you can spray your clothes. Uh, but the most important thing with ticks, if you you're in if you're in an area where you've seen or know that ticks occur, is to uh, inspect uh, the kids and family members every night after they come inside to remove any ticks. What about uh, citronella candles? Uh, not effective. Not effective.